hello viewers have a good day welcome to our new tutorial in this tutorial we'll learn how to build 3d model using dem image so for that we have a dem image and i have a study area map so i want to create or build 3d model or 3d view on the basis of this study area so at first i want to cliff this study area from this dem image for that you should go raster click on this extraction and within this extraction you can see here clip raster by mask layer so new window will open so input input layer should be this uh, dem file or dem image and your mask layer should be your study map okay and here you just select 0 as a assign a specified no data value and all the settings are as default and save this in your folder so i want to give assign study dem okay and then save and click on run so my study area has been cliff so uncheck this and click here zoom to layer and uncheck also this study area you can see the dem of my study area you can see here the lowest value is 137 meter and highest value is 768 meter so before going to build 3d model we need one plugin by that we can easily do 3d model from this dem image so at first go to plugin and click this manage and install plugin so you should search qgis to 3gis qgis to 3 so you can see here this qgis to 3gis so click on this new plugin and install this plugin for run this 3d model from the dream image so i have only uh, already this plugin so close this window so after that uh, before going to uh, 3d modeling we can change the color composition from here but at first i want to see the 3d view on the basis of this black and white uh, dem image another important thing is that uh, this dem image or this study area has a geographic coordinate system you can see here EPSG4326 this is a geographic coordinate system and the unit of this geographic coordinate system is degree decimal but for the build of uh, some kind of 3d modeling we need projected coordinate system or you can say UTM projection so for that we should change this projection system by by click here you can see the present projection system is EPSG that means this is geographic coordinate system and we need to convert the geographic coordinate system into utm projected coordinate system because the unit of projected coordinate system or utm zone is a meter so by that we can do uh, 3d modeling so you can see here within this box the location of our study area by plus icon within this india so but we need to convert this uh, geographic coordinate system to projected coordinate system so for that we should select for our country or this area wg 4 utm zone 45 n and you can search your utm zone from here so whatever your utm zone you can select from here so just click here and you can see the whole region selected for 45 n utm zone after that click on apply and ok now we'll do the 3d modeling for this day media for that uh, go to wave and in this wave you can see the qgis to 3gis this is plugin by this plugin we can uh, do 3d modeling so we can see here qgis to 3gis exporter click here and the new window will open and within this uh, layer panel the left side you can see here the dem within dem you can see here the study dem 
uh, you just uh, check this box and you can see here uh, the study area but it is not in position of 3d okay this is very simple 2d model so another thing is that uh, we don't want to go with the whole thing i just want to uh, create 3d model within uh, study area so for that uh, click the study dem and go to properties and you can see here the cliff dem with the polygon layer so if i check this box so you can see here the study map that is my the uh, study area uh, vector shape file so within that uh, i can cut only study area so i can go with uh, 3d modeling only my study area rather the whole image so after that uh, uh, and another important thing is that the uh, texture width so if you uh, click on this drop down menu you can see here the different uh, pixel size so i uh, go with uh, the higher resolution so you can select the highest resolution value so after that uh, click on apply and ok uh, so it will take some time after that you can see only the study area that uh, i want to create 3d modeling so another important thing is that uh, uh, for preparing the 3d modeling you should click this scene within scene you can see here the scene setting and within the scene setting you can see the important thing is the base width uh, vertical ex exaggeration and vertical set but most important thing is that the vertical exaggeration so uh, the vertical exaggeration default value is zero that means this is the just like a plane surface so i want to give uh, first a uh, three value three okay by that i want to show the uh, the 3d model how can uh, build the 3d model by using this vertical uh, three exaggeration because this vertical exaggeration is is nothing but a jet factor that means height or altitude okay click on apply and okay so it will uh, take uh, some while and now we can see the uh, vertical uh, you can see here the 3d model has been already developed you can see here i if i want to uh, move my study area you can see here somehow the 3d model is already created if you want to uh, see this 3d model in better way or with the increase the height or vertical exaggeration or you can say the jet values or altitude so you can increase just again click on the scene and go to the scene setting and you just put here the values 10 so if uh, if you want to create uh, give the higher value uh, within this vertical exaggeration so your elevation and the 3d model will appear very bright or very sharp so i want to give the vertical ex exaggeration uh, by 10 values so after that click apply and ok and it will take away a while time within that uh, the 3d model will prepare now you can see the the whole the study area created the uh, 3d model and you can see each and every part very clearly and the higher elevation as well as the lower elevation you can see see very properly okay by clicking the right click on your mouse you can move your study area anywhere so now i want to do 3d model by using some color composition by that we can easily identify the higher elevation as well as lower lower elevation so how can we do minimize your qgs to 3gis window and here you can see your study area just click here go to properties and within this properties go to symbology and within this symbology you can see here this render type and select this uh, single band pseudo color and within the color ramp you just click here this drop down and i am going to choose the create new color ramp and within this color ramp i will go with uh, gradient so after that you can see here the default setting so i want to divide um, this uh, gradient color 
within three four uh, uh, zone. So for the uh, zonation of this uh, gradient uh, profile, just click here anywhere within this uh, profile map. Uh, click the your left mouse here. So new break we can you, you can see here. So after that you can choose any color from here. And I want to give uh, some uh, little uh, blue color. So after that I want to take uh, the uh, one more gradient here. So just double click here. And I want to give uh, this uh, uh, brownish color. Okay. And I want to give uh, one more break here. And I want to give uh, this uh, reddish color. Okay. Or you can see you can give any kind of color according to your uh, according to your choice. Okay. And, and the last I again want to hit here and I want to give uh, some deep color because uh, this area will be the highest altitude so I want to give this uh, color okay so according to your need you can uh, change color from here and we can also change uh, after some time according to our need so after that click on ok and and you should select within the mode button uh, quantile and uh, number of classes I want to take 15 classes so after that click on apply and ok so within that you can see here the uh, green uh, color shows the higher altitude where the uh, blue color shows the lower uh, altitude and you can see here uh, another stream also you can see here so now I want to show this uh, uh, study area them uh, with using the uh, 3d model so for that again go to or you can minimum uh, maximize your uh, 3gs to qjs uh, okay and you can see automatically uh, the updated the all the color and other things so you can move your map and you can see here your 3d model okay so this uh, blue portion showing the lower altitude and this uh, middle portion and the north northeast corner showing the higher altitude and you can also see here the uh, the river uh, channel you can see from the dam okay if you want to change the color as well as the height of your the 3d model you can also increase so i i want to give uh, uh, increase the vertical exaggeration by clicking here 15 and click on apply and ok and after few seconds you can see your vertical dam and you can see the your vertical dam is very properly and you can see this is very interesting you can scroll your mouse and by that you can uh, zoom it and zoom out your map okay if you want to change the color so again just minimize this and go here click this properties and uh, select and you can reduce your class size from 15 to 10 okay you can reduce 15 to 10 and select the quantile and click on apply and ok so now the color like this so I can go to your QGIS to 3GIS so now you can see your 3d model is uh, pretty good and you can see on the some interesting color and you build a proper 3d model so now the question is that how we can save this file so you can save your file by uh, whatever uh, angle you want to take uh, or want to save your file or your study area so if you want to save your study area like this okay or like this so set your study area like this and after that go to file and save as type so if you 
click the save as uh, save skin as you can see here the two option is there image that is png another is uh, uh, gltf file so i i i will go with this png file so for that go to here and if you uh, customize your uh, output width as well as height so i will go with this uh, default setting after that go to click save and you can write this study i want to assign study one and assign your the folder location okay within them i want to save this click on save and another i want to save uh, image like this so again go to file go to save as image and click on save and i want to write the name as study study area so i want to assign this to because this is the second image then I click save and if you want to save your uh, 3d model by uh, 3d model as a html file for that click on this file and uh, click this export to web and you can see within this the at first you should uh, select your directory where you want to save this click here browse and assign your folder so i want to save here and select folder dem and file name what whatever you want to give the name as uh, i want to give study study 3 okay and another thing is that you should uh, check this enable the viewer to run locally okay after that click on export so you can see here the percentage and it will take a while time and uh, the program is successfully finished then close so after that you go to your folder and you can refresh here and within this folder you can see here some file so i have saved my study area study one study two as well as another is a study theory this is the stm so at first i want to open this uh, study one by clicking this so this is my first image and this is my second image okay so whatever orientation you save uh, during this uh, save your study area or 3d model so according to that you can save your image and another uh, is the html study html file just clicking this stm file so you can so here you can see uh, the third image that i have saved as a html file so this stm file has open here and you can see here the stm file without uh, using qgs because i have saved this uh, 3d model in stm file so you can see zoom it zoom out and you can move anywhere uh, in any direction so you can see here your the 3d your 3d model and it looking pretty good and is uh, quite uh, interesting thank you watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe uh, my channel and comment for more video thank you thank you for watching